Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And today, if you don't mind, I would very much like to take this opportunity to mention or announce or uh, say that over the course of, say, a number of video discussions, while I won't necessarily be able to adhere to any strict schedule, it will still be uh, my great, uh, great honor and privilege to endeavor or try to endeavor to speak about or share some comments with respect to the feature film body of work, the filmography of one of the great, great uh, film artists and poets and filmmakers uh, of the history of cinema. And this is the filmmaker uh, Theodorus Angelopoulos, or Theo Angelopoulos. I have mentioned over the course of maybe uh, or a number of past occasions my hopes or dreams in to try to speak on this channel in some form or in some capacity on the works of Angelopoulos. And so what I'd like to say or announce today is that uh, let us begin our journey with respect to the cinema of Angelopoulos. So if you are interested, uh, please uh, join me. And as I say, we will try to focus in uh, a discussion on each of his works, his feature film, feature film length works. The a number of things on this particular topic. Uh, the uh, the availability of the films of Angelopoulos, at least as of the time of this video, is something that I admit I am not a hundred percent sure on, and perhaps it may be that a number of his works are difficult to obtain or to watch or to otherwise experience. I was very fortunate uh, to have been able to get, for instance, these DVD sets from Artificial Eye from the United Kingdom in three volumes. This is volume one, here is volume two, and here is volume three. And once again, these are UK DVD sets. Uh, but I think these are maybe a little bit difficult to come by or maybe they have fallen out of print as of now and I'm not sure. Uh, but if you are able to get the films at a, uh, through, uh, say, reasonable prices or reasonable means, then of course I would strongly uh, suggest and recommend that you uh, get them and obtain them. But of course, if those means are not reasonable or if these films are otherwise not available to you, then don't worry about that at all. Uh, hopefully one of these days, again, I'm not sure, but hopefully one of these days, more films by Angelopoulos will be made available in, uh, in as many of the regional markets around the world as possible in maybe new restorations or new releases, who knows. Uh, but as of now, uh, maybe the situation as regards to the access to Angelopoulos films might be limited, again, depending on where you are. I hope that changes, or I hope there are some means by which you are able to uh, to obtain, watch, experience, and enjoy these works. Because once again, the Angelopoulos films are breathtaking. These are uh, really uh, breathtaking works. And on that note, or in that spirit too, let me also say that I am in no way, I am in no way uh, whatsoever an expert when it comes to the works of Angelopoulos. I am in no way an expert when it comes to specific uh, relevant topics of, say, uh, 20th century uh, Greek history or even ancient Greek history or uh, ancient Greek uh, theater or or uh, theater or art and these topics are very crucial and key 
uh, one could say, to the cinematic landscape of Angelopolis. Now, I am not at all an expert, but I will try my very best in terms of, of my own, say, comprehension and understanding, which again, I admit, is very, very shallow and very, very maybe incomplete uh, from a, an intellectual level. And for many other levels, in fact, it's quite incomplete uh, all around, I would say. Now, that being said, I will, of course, do my very best in trying to approach e each of these films uh, from the various contexts which I understand uh, them to be operating. And I'll try to express that in the uh, best way possible. But there have been other great scholars and great critics and great uh, historians that have dealt uh, say in essay form or written form uh, on the works of Angelopoulos much better than I. Uh, so I direct your attention, for instance, for example, to the great work by, say, Andrew Horton on the cinema of Angelopoulos. Uh, but uh, in that vein, however, I, w and I should say too that I came to the world of the cinema of Angelopoulos uh, somewhat later in life. Uh, and so it this was a journey that was one of uh, quite a, a, um, a very uh, profoundly uh, moving type of experience that I had with respect to uh, the first film by Angelopoulos that I ever saw, which is a film called, in English, The Traveling Players. And the experience of watching this film, again, it, it was some years back, but it was uh, not within the, my childhood years, but it was in fact somewhat later. Uh, still, uh, watching this film for the first time left me uh, uh, numb. Um, let me express it another way. It was so profound a, a moment uh, in terms of my own cinematic journey at the time, I've never forgotten it. And there are many things about the film upon that first viewing that, that I didn't understand, and I still don't understand. I'm trying my best to study and to learn and to become more aware of all the intricacies of that uh, masterpiece. But there are still many aspects that I'm, I uh, admit that I struggle with. But it is uh, my hope that perhaps through this series of conversations that I, I would like to have on each of the films, uh, I w hope also to learn from you and to be inspired by you and to get your takes and perspectives for those who are interested in this in order for us to have a conversation. And again, I am very much willing to listen to you and to learn from you and to hear your takes. Uh, this is one of the, uh, th the most important uh, objectives of uh, this channel and the videos, in particular these uh, videos that I'd like to have on each of the films. And so uh, if you are interested, my dear friends, and if it is okay with you, uh, let us have that conversation about each of the films. And so what that means is I'd like to have our first conversation on the works of Angelopoulos regarding the film which is from 1970. And it is called, in English, The Reconstruction. And so I will have a discussion about this uploaded onto this channel hopefully very soon and as I say I don't have any uh, set pace of uh, regular schedule with these discussions I will try to upload them uh, when possible it might be a, of a little bit of a slower pace uh, but I hope that's okay. I do want to take some time with these, uh, but still, uh, it is a journey that I am very much looking forward to. I'm, I'm quite nervous because the world of Angelopolis is a very, it is a, it is a profound one. And it is one where the films are, as I say, in their own ways, so immensely powerful. Uh, these are, are incredibly powerful works, and so on that basis, I'm very nervous, and I will, but I will do my very best and uh, try to address uh, uh, from a certain perspective uh, my, uh, my feelings about the films. Also, just to return to the issue of availability, as of this uh, point in time, anyway, the time of this video, while it might not always be possible for me to avoid certain specifics of details of plot when it comes to discussion of these films. I will try my best. And again, I can't promise that my efforts will always be perfect because they aren't. Uh, but I will 
try my best to have a discussion such that uh, it can be watched or can be listened to without uh, necessarily a, a need or fear for uh, to avoid uh, to or, or uh, the uh, the risk of listening in on type of spoilers. But if there is a type of uh, that type of discussion that I feel is necessary, I'll try to indicate that. Uh, during the course or prior to the start of the discussion. Uh, again, just in case anyone is interested in that aspect. But once again, my dear friends, let us, if it is okay with you, begin our journey of discussion and exploration with regard to the films of Angolopolis, starting with the film whose title in English, or it's often referred to in English as The Reconstruction from 1970. Okay, my friends, so that's it for now. And so until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Thank you so much, as always, for your time. I very, very much appreciate it. Stay strong, stay safe, and cheers. Cheers.